sixth time in the 17 seasons in Oklahoma, Bob Stoops enters preseason practices without having named a starting quarterback. But is the outcome already determined? Here to talk about it with me is our OU football writer, Ryan Aber. Ryan, do we already really know who the OU quarterback's going to be? Well, I think we've got a pretty good idea. I think from the indications we've got from what we've seen in the, the limited amount of practices that we've been able to see spring the spring game, and from, from talking to coaches, it seems like Baker Mayfield is in a very good position to be the starting quarterback for this team. Now, we've had some upsets and some surprises before in those six that you mentioned, uh, most notably a couple years ago when I think most everybody expected Blake Bell to be the starting quarterback, and it wound up being Trevor Knight, and of course Trevor Knight is involved in this conversation as well. How did we miss the Blake, let's go back to the error first, how did we miss the Blake Bell, Trevor Knight decision? Well, I think part of it was what Trevor Knight could do and what they wanted their offense to do. Now, of course, that's what Baker Mayfield, that's the, the puzzle piece that fits for Baker Mayfield. He ran the air raid at Texas Tech. Lincoln Riley wanted Baker Mayfield to, to come join him in East Carolina when Baker Mayfield decided to transfer from the Red Raiders. But ultimately, uh, Baker Mayfield wound up in Norman and a year later, so did Lincoln Riley. The throws, the Lincoln Riley. Also, though, sort of the celebrity quarterback things going on right now. <laughs> Baker Mayfield, if he's not the starter, he's sure acting like it. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. We've seen the, the viral videos of him, uh, you know, doing the, the whip and other dances and, and stuff like that. He certainly doesn't lack in confidence, and that shows on the field, too. We saw it in the spring game. He made some difficult throws. Uh, you know, made mistakes with some of those throws because he's, he's thrown into double coverage, things like that. But the payoff for that is uh, the big plays that he can create, which I think uh, the other quarterbacks right now haven't proven that they can do that consistently. His Trevor Knight uh, is just the black marks against him, the pick uh, six touchdowns. Is that really what's costing him, or is there something else? No, I, that's the big thing. I mean, he has a tendency to make big turnovers in big situations and hasn't been able to, to channel the consistency that we saw him, from him in the Sugar Bowl a couple years ago against Alabama. Uh, in every one of OU's losses last year, there was a big play that wound up either being a pick six or creating a quick uh, uh, score for the other team that turned those games around and uh, they can't afford to have that with this offense they're running this year. What's the chance this competition, if there is a really one, enters into the season? In other words, in the opener, both quarterbacks play. Uh, I don't think that that's going to happen. I think OU is going to name a starter. Bob Stoops is going to name a starter and want to stick with that. Now, if he's able to stick with that uh, moving deep into the season, that's a big question because whoever he picks, has to go out there and perform well. They've got a forgiving schedule early, with the exception of that Tennessee game a couple weeks in. Uh, if they can get through that and find that consistency, find a little bit of a role, find a little bit of a rhythm on offense, then they can uh, breathe a little bit before they get to TCU, Baylor, and Oklahoma State to end the year. Thanks, Ryan. That's all for this edition of the OU Football Update, but you can stay with the best coverage team every day at News OK and every morning in the Oklahoma.